Are you constantly missing your aerials? Whiffing those kickoffs? Or do you keep getting demoed because nobody wants to look at that stock team? Well then perhaps it's time to step up your game with one of today's 10 beautiful budget octane designs. The Rising Dragon is probably my favorite design in today's video. It's cheap, it looks good, it's thematic and it remains clean and classy while still being flashy at the same time. Now the key piece of the design is obviously the Octane Dragon Lord, which on Steam will cost you about half a key and that's just due to the fact that it's a rare decal. We complement that with some sleek orange apex which will run you about 4 keys and an orange octane which is also probably going to cost you about 4k or 4 keys. Now with all these designs I'm aiming for about a 10 key budget, so for the boost I'm going to opt for a Helios. The unpainted version is going to run you max about half a key and since its default color is orange it works out perfectly here. It's pretty much the exact same story with the trail, we're going with a blazer, it's orange unpainted and will cost you about half a key. Now I'll show the colors on the screen. But what I think looks best is when you have a dark primary and then a light accent and that really helps to make the Dragon Lord decal pop. The second design is named after the Aero wheels and by default they have a very interesting blue and yellow combo. I think they look much better default than the monochromatic painted versions so I decided to base an entire design around these wheels. To complement the yellow we're going with a Saffron Octane which is going to run you about 6 keys. That's quite a hefty price tag so we're going to make sure we keep the other options quite cheap and we're adding an Octane MG88 into the mix which will cost you max about one key. For the boost we're rocking a Hypernova because it's got a yellowy and blue mix into it and I love when we can get good matches of items that you don't see too often. As for the trail we're going with a Laser Wave painted Saffron and that should run you about one key. So in total it's the same as the Rising Dragon, a 9.5 key price tag and here are the colors on screen. The bull is designed around a decal that hasn't actually been released yet. It is an upcoming stream award and that is the CRL Northern decal. It's got a beautiful bull design on it so I decided to make that the centerpiece. While the Northern decal hasn't been released yet, we can kind of guess what the price would be based off other unpainted decals that you get as stream rewards and at most I think this will go for about one key. We're adding in a Lime Octane there which should add about 5 keys to the price tag. As for the reason why Lime and a Lime and Purple design, there is no overarching theme. However, I thought it was a cool color combo and it does seem to work together. For the wheels, we're rocking some Lime Illuminata and that should cost you around 3 keys. So we already add a 9 key price tag and I think the final edition is going to be a Lime Tachyon which you can pick up for a single key. So there's our 10 key total and I will show the colors on screen for you. While the bull didn't have a theme, Ocean Man definitely makes up for it. We're basing it around everything related to the sea and we have to start off with the Leviathan decal. This is a gorgeous decal that you can pick up for just two keys. I don't see it too often, I think it's definitely underrated and it might just be a rare sight because it is an import decal instead of a black market. To combo with this, we're rocking a sky blue hypnotic wheel which runs for about five keys and I think the little inner circle animation definitely combos with an ocean vibe. But that does already bring us up to a 7 key total, meaning we can't rock something like a sky blue octane. The next item we're adding onto there is a sky blue cirrus, and the beam design on this definitely seems to match on the decal, so I think it's a great addition here. And to complete this piece, we're rocking the rarely seen Toon Hydro Trail. Before this design, I didn't even know this thing existed, but I think it fits really well. And that brings us up to an 8.5 key total, and here are your colors. The green arrow is my take at creating an extremely cheap design. You're starting out with the forest green Shantico, which will cost you no more than one key. Combo this with a pair of unpainted Gaiden wheels, which go for between the 25 to 50 cent range. For the trail, we're going with an EKG OMG, which is a nice little green trail, and we're looking to spend about half a key here. For the boost, we can go with a freebie just to keep the budget really low, and I really like green ion in this instance. So that is the whole car design, costing you just two keys. If you do have an extra key, you can add an anodized into there. You slap that onto your secondary and it just helps a bit to make that arrow pop. And there are a few different colors you can rock, but since you are just spending two keys, I do think you can take a bit of extra time trying to get a nice color combo. With the red reactor, we're starting to dial up the flashiness of the design. The signature piece is obviously going to be those crimson reactors, which I think are a vibrant and quite a menacing look to them and they're going to cost you about 5 keys on Steam. 
to go with it, we're going with a Crimson Dune Racer decal, and that's adding about 3 keys to the price tag. For the boost, you definitely have a few options, but I think the Crimson Magic Missile is definitely a nice one. It's got the same sort of static feel as the wheels, and it's also one of the cheaper Crimson boosts. For the trail, I don't think the painted versions do really well here, so I would just suggest something like a regular friction, which will cost about half a key. So like a lot of the other designs, we're looking at a 9.5 key total, and here are your colors on screen. With the red reactor, we turned up the dial slightly on the flashy side, but with hypnosis, we've cranked that dial to max. It isn't the most original design, plenty of people have showcased it before, but I think with the 10 key budget, it's definitely one of the flashiest designs you can come up with. We're starting out with a labyrinth, which is going for about four keys on steam, and it combos perfectly with the reverb wheels, and some cobalt reverbs are going for about two keys. You rock a tune sketch in cobalt, costing about one key here, and it's just another boost that seems to match really well. The black and cobalt colors align, and tune sketch is one of the flashiest boosts you can get. I also think the painted trails don't do justice here, so I would suggest maybe a lightning trail costing you about half a key. That brings the grand total to 7.5k, and here are the colors. Now something like orange or saffron might pop a lot more, but I just went with cobalt because we haven't shown a cobalt design in today's video. The next design is called the Hidden Comic, and with this I'm trying to showcase a cool feature with decals. If you align the colors up properly, you can hide a lot of the details, and this creates a unique design that you don't see very often. It's a very popular choice with the Kilowatt decal where people use it to hide the skull, but I feel like everyone's seen Kilowatt Octanes. Now for the items, we're starting out with some Saffron Wonderments, very nice wheels that will only cost you about two keys. Combo this again with the Saffron Octane, the six key price tag, we obviously need a ripped comic decal, and thankfully that's pretty cheap at about half a key. For the boost, I think Tune Sketch works quite well again. And finally, we rock a Saffron Laser Wave, and it completes the look quite nicely. Now here are the colors. You can definitely play around and create some interesting combos, but I feel the Saffron and Crimson design is very unique, and the colors themselves kind of look comical. Alpha Wolf has a bit of an edgy name, but I'll explain the reasoning behind it in just a second. The first piece is the Sovereign Wheels in purple, and that's going to run you about 3 keys. I really like these wheels in a monocolor design, because in the center here you've got the flat dark purple, whereas on the thread you've got a brighter glowy purple. So that gives us some nice shades of purple to work with. We're comboing this with a Lone Wolf decal, and in purple this is going to run for about 1 key. Those two pieces are what I named the design around. The definition of sovereign just means ruler, and the ruling wolf in a pack is gonna be the alpha wolf. We're gonna add in a purple octane just to amp up the purple with this design. That usually goes for five keys, but I would suggest going for a four key purple octane, just in an attempt to keep the design under 10 keys. For the boost, I would definitely suggest dark matter. And like I mentioned with the hypernova, I love it when uncommon items just match perfectly. For the trail, we can go with the default, which has a nice purple to it, and that saves us when it comes to the budget. Now here are your colors. I would highly suggest going with an anodized on that lone wolf, just to help it pop a little more. And the final design that we're going to be looking at today is named Miami, and that's just because the colors are going off the Hotline Miami vibe. The first thing you'll probably notice is that we're not going with a decal this time, and instead we're relying on the pearlescent paint finish, this is included in the Dominus DLC, which I'm sure a lot of people have, but I just wanted to showcase this and how you can create a cool design that doesn't necessarily need a decal. For the wheels, we're going for some pink infiniums because they match that pink and sky blue combo. We're adding in a pink octane there, and that's gonna run for about four keys. Sometimes the painted cloud burst can be difficult to add into a design, but thankfully the pink one fits nicely, and that should cost you one key. Sticking with the rocket pass items, we're going with the pink laser wave, and that completes our combo of 9 keys. Now here are the colors on screen, and just remember the importance of the pearlescent paint finish in this design. So that wraps up all the designs in today's video, but I'd love you guys to let me know which one is your favorite. You can also let me know which car you'd like to see in the next design video. But as always my friends, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.